come at you i'm hank welcome to hamiltonville farm man today i've got a treat for you not really <laughs> <laughs> so i don't want to ruin the video for you but i do want to give you the whole story uh this this fire truck we're back out here at the fire truck right and i'm making this intro after the fact we've already looked at it and all this good stuff we've already shot the outro actually i want to tell you all a little bit about it before we actually get to the video portion of us working on it and to tell you why it's still sitting there all right got the hamiltonville farm master mechanic with me today we should stop telling people that hey <laughs> listen we got to figure it out today and the, you're like why you bring brandle on this video yeah why do you bring yeah, me around Hank? because it, you know got to have his brains and my looks so we can start on the old fire truck man i'm telling you ain't this thing going to be awesome so today's project is we're actually going to try to get this thing cranked up and we're going to try to drive it home no kidding going to try to drive it home in this video and if we don't get to it then it's it's probably your fault as a viewer because everything i'm doing is based off your comments <laughs> <laughs> totally joking right hey listen we're going to go the first thing we're going to do on this is we're going to lubricate that jack handle for the cab because we know that we're going to need to raise the cab up to start doing some work so let's go ahead let's get the uh, old liquid wrench we got you know we're big fans of liquid wrench here on the channel so we're going to take the liquid wrench lubricating penetrating oil hit this jack handle with it and get started the handle here for the jack is here actually we brought a breaker bar as well and there's a safety lever in there that you have to hit as well i'll show you i watched a video on that you can learn anything on youtube right it's like a two-step process to actually get the handle lifted up so let's go ahead and spray it. you want to do the honors there young man yeah let's do it too. Right. i'm just going to spray everywhere yeah absolutely so a couple things about the, the truck itself that we've determined it's a 391 and it's got a Clark 285 transmission in it. A nice rat's nest. Brando, you think? We love, we love critters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when we tilt this thing forward, we're going to see if we get any rodents scattered yeah, out of the, the way then. See, so. see the mass exodus. <laughs> so we're going to let the lubricating oil do its thing, and then we'll actually try to raise this cab up and get started on it. So I left the breaker bar at the house. <laughs> we're trying to figure out if we can squeeze this up in here to try to get some leverage on it. You know, you can fix anything with leverage. Hammer it in a little bit. Yeah, that yeah. should be good. All right, let's go get the hammer. Give it a little persuasion here. Oh, yeah, there's good. Okay, something you want to do before you actually raise the cab is you want to open both doors. So we got that door open. I'll come around here, open this one. Why do we have to open both doors, Hank? You have to open both doors for to help the center of gravity, I believe. Physics. Physics, I think. All right, so there's a process. There's a two-step process on here where you lift the you lift the handle up with one process, <laughs> maybe. Oh, that that might be coming up, and then maybe we'll. Nope. To... <laughs> so 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 our second dub moment <laughs> of today is uh, this part was unnecessary because the handle was already <laughs> up. So so disregard that part. So step one is already accomplished. <laughs> then step two is going to be yeah raise the cat or raise it and then catch that safety switch in there no. so what we're going to try now is to shoot some penetrating oil down from the top to the safety latch and see if that will help loosen it up some i think we've almost got this thing whipped you think you can access it from up there um i think so all right be a little more direct spray yeah let me see maybe not <laughs> Am I getting where you think? I can't tell. I can't tell either. Okay, I think we got it figured out here. Ready? Don't worry, Hank. I'm just holding <laughs> it. There you go. Ready? All right, she's good. Yeah, that fills me with a whole lot of confidence. <laughs> Whew, Brandle, that was heavy. Okay, essentially what we had to do, you pull the bar up that you saw, and then this is the bottom one that operates this main latch over here. And then this is the top safety mechanism here. You gotta spray it with a bunch of liquid wrench to get it- To get it freed up. Yeah, uh, get it freed up, and then it goes and it rests on these really, really sturdy coil springs here. Reminds me of a mattress I had back in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so now that we got the engine exposed, again, this is a 391 power plant. Let's start working on that and see if we can actually crank this thing up. You know, to be honest with you, it don't look that bad. 
Yeah, we didn't see any mice or anything. Oh, I thought that was a snake, but that's a... What? Uh, <laughs> I thought that was a snake when I just looked at it, but it's just oh, cable yeah. covering. <laughs> yeah, so it, it really don't look that bad. So what we're going to do is we're just going to check it all and, and see, you know, we'll go through our normal... What is this right here? Because an air compressor of some sort? Um, uh, these coils. What's these coils wrapped around it? No idea. Yeah, I don't need it. Looks it. like that that'd be like a power steering pump with a power steering cooler. Maybe. We're, we're going to get all this out. <laughs> look at where the radiator cap is. Oh, yeah. On this. So let's get all this disassembled so we can look down in it and then go from there see if we can get some fuel to it and see if we can fire this baby up. Obviously, we'll have to change some, we'll have to change some batteries on it as well. There's a nice welcome home present for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Brandall, did we bring tools with us? Yeah, so we, we made sure to get all the wrenches. Right. <laughs> Ta-da! All right, so uh, let's see. We've got our, this is for our battery cables. This will be for our carburetor. This will be for the air filter. Okay, yeah, I think we've got everything. Yeah, I think in. we've got all the special tools that we need for the job. Yeah, yeah, good thing we brought an assortment. That's that was pretty important for this job. I think so. All right, let's get started. We'll go ahead and get the man. No, well, here's here. I think Brandall, this is the easiest access to a engine that we've done. Yeah, I think so. We've each got a nice little seat to sit <laughs> on here with the front tire. So yeah, it's nice. All right, let's get. It'll work real well. Let's get this bad boy off here. Oh, it ain't even got a. It ain't oh, yeah, it doesn't even have a nut on it. Mm -mm, does it? Sure not. What is this some kind of little set screw? Well, nothing really goes into it. So. <laughs> well, we go. <laughs> we go to start taking the air assembly off here, the air cleaner off, and we got to looking. And I was like, Brando was like, well, you know, it's a little, it's a little challenging to actually start something when you're. <laughs> Somebody got a little hungry. Golly! And look at the coal wire here. I mean, main Gosh, wire. man shoot why didn't i well i didn't raise the cab last time i was out here okay let's get what we can get cleaned up and then we'll go well gosh that just aggravates the hound out of me doggone it Hank, even, even mice have to eat i reckon what about the other the, 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 well we're gonna get a whole, um, whole new set yeah of yeah they're 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 definitely slowly working on it anyway see <laughs> we've got all the little that one's done yeah all right Okie dokie. Well, let's get what we can get and then we'll go from there. Um, it has rusted sludge. Okay, so what we're, what we're going to do is we're just going to try to clean up what we can clean up. Maybe even do a little work on the carburetor while we're out here. Then come back with some pl plug wires to see if we can get this thing. Man, good, good thing we're 87 miles off, off the main road on the dirt road. <laughs> we're right? so far away from everything, dude. <laughs> So here's what the inside of the carburetor looks like. So let's let's take a look at at what that is, and then we'll we'll actually try to we'll try to work on this just a little bit while we're out here. What we're going to do is we're going to actually take the carburetor off. It's a simple process to actually remove the carburetor. So we'll go ahead and take it off, get it cleaned up, and then maybe run to town and see if we can't get some spark plug wires and make it back. So here's what we're dealing with here. We're at this person's property and it's also a place where people hunt. We're in deer season. And so we're trying to be considerate by coming midday in between sessions. You know, a lot of people hunt in the morning, a lot of people hunt in the afternoon. And so we wanna, we wanna try to hit them at lunchtime when they're gone. So we're gonna try to get this done. We'll try to run into town. It takes forever to get to town from where we are, but maybe we can come back and uh, get the plug wires put on. We'll see what else we're gonna need and then get back to it. Yeah, I don't show, I'm going to edit this part out of me using a <laughs> ratchet and socket. <laughs> Make sure you don't break it. Uh, yeah, let's yeah, not break the vacuum line. Got all four of them. Mm -hmm. uh, they're all loose. Well, somebody just showed up. How about you? Hey man, we got problems. Yeah, what you got for problems? We ain't got no plug wires. The rats, rats ate them all. You brought the plug wires, right, Tommy? <laughs> Grab that nine sixteenths. That one's gonna work better. Scabble? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's not gonna work better, is it? That is super loose. Um, here, let me see. Since you've got the, you got that adjustable. I got the baby. Here, it's right here. 
All right. I, I got the baby one in my hand. All right. Listen, we'll put that adjustable wrench on it now. Okay. There it goes. Yeah, that worked. Yeah. I think that's the last thing we got to take apart. For I'll go get some rags to shove down in there to clog the hole up and the intake manifold. We're going to get fuel line for this thing, so we're just going to go ahead and cut it off right here. Maybe. If you got a sharp knife. Anybody out there got a sharp knife? We'd appreciate one. <laughs> I don't know why that door. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to tell y'all Tommy showed up. How about you, Tom? Yeah. yeah. So, no, seriously, don't. Randall, what is that? A butter? Buddy. Is that a butter? Here, it's, I got it's, one right It's here. rubber from 1973, too. Yeah. When real. rubber was rubber. Real man's knife. It's Smith & Wesson knife. Oh, yeah? Well, listen. High quality $12 hunting <laughs> store knife. Yeah. Yeah, you know, there yeah. you go. Yeah, you got to at least get back in the groove. Yeah, what about that real man's knife? <laughs> hey, listen. Oh, yeah. I'm going to speed it oh, up. It's going to look like it's cut. <laughs> yeah. Dog gone. Yeah. It's when they made rubber out of asphalt, I think. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank you, kind sir. Anything else? You got that spring on? Yep. Everything's clear. Cool. Mmm. Nice. <laughs> yep. Everything's clear. Cool. Mmm. Nice. <laughs> Should have brought a vacuum cleaner too. I know it did. I don't know if you guys can see down in there, but it's basically varnish. It's always varnish. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. All right, let me stick some. Let me go get some towels to stick down in them holes. We got some work to do, Brandel. We do. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't like these gas engines, man. I don't know what we're doing here. Actually, is that a hole in? They got a hole in the intake manifold. Oh, that's good. That's, really? Look at that. That's hundred <laughs> percent. Well, nothing ever goes as planned, does it? Uh -uh. Golly. This is a plug we just took out of it. But at this point, I mean, we're not. <laughs> I, I think we have identified a vacuum leak yeah. in this yeah. general region here. Maybe a maybe an inch and a half long, half inch wide vacuum leak. I guess we'll have to. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Man. I think JB Weld fixes everything. Yeah, it'll I, be fine. You know what? It's not a bad idea. It'll, it'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Them rats got big teeth. But I don't want they bit a hole in there. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> if they did, I don't want to meet them. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, no kidding, right? Yeah. I oh man. That They've done some work on everything else, ain't they, though? Yeah. All right, what we're going to do is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're going to... Reevaluate our fiscal and mechanical <laughs> position. Right? Yeah. That's right. So we're putting the, we're going to put the carburetor back on it just, just because so we don't lose anything, really. And then, uh, you know, this right here, this is the big one right here, fellas. What a disappointment. It was going to be such a cool project, but... So let me tell you, let me tell you what we've been discussing here off camera. Well, just what it meant to be. I mean, you know, things happen. Nature, <laughs> 15 years, yeah. rain, mice. Yeah. So let me tell y'all, let's sit down for story time right quick, okay? We, we were talking off camera, and so there's several options that we're going to explore, right? They're either going to, we're either going to A, take it uh well part uh common theme of every option down these paths that we're going to take involve getting the truck out of the woods so first of all we got to get it to tommy's house right and so that would be you know when you saw the guy with the low boy take the motor grader home we'll we'll ask that friend for another favor and have him come get the fire truck because it's a little too heavy for for my my track uh, my truck and trailer so we'll get it back to tommy's house now here's our options you want to tell them option one option one is uh, my personal favorite. We're going JB Weld that bad boy. <laughs> so I like that. One. Literally, we think about JB Weld. Yeah, so, yeah, so that's number one. JB Weld the hole and see what we can do there. Number two is buy a new intake manifold and see if you can just replace the intake manifold and the carb and, and all the wires that are chewed up as well. And then uh, and then the slave cylinder that they told us was bad on it. You know, it ran when parked. So always, right? <laughs> you know, quote unquote. Yeah, and then we have a third option as well, and that involves. It's probably the easier option, but not, might be the more expensive option. Yeah. Right, Randall? Yeah, absolutely. So since it's in the nice fire truck, we've got access. We could actually just 
swap the engine just pull the engine stick a new engine um, probably maybe with a bell housing adapter or something um, but yeah I think that that would be yeah. definitely the easiest but you know like you said gonna gonna have some more money but it's so, okay though it's not my yeah, money it's Tommy's yeah, money the, 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 <laughs> bank, the, bank, the bank of Tommy yeah. over here has got, the, got all the money so. oh and then uh, there's always the option of just pulling it out of here and selling it for scrap or find another collector mm -hmm. that wants to uh, restore it put a new engine on it there's tons of people out there if you're watching this video and you're interested in buying it from us send me an email hank at hamiltonvillefarm.com and you could do it that way so those are the options that we have or that we've been discussing if you have any more options let me know in the comments below because that will that will help us make a decision as well you will see this fire truck again on the on the channel what that looks like is yet to be determined anyway hey listen as always we appreciate you watching if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you like this kind of content please consider subscribing and, and watch the day that i first came out to the fire truck to kind of do an overall analysis of what it was going to take to fix this thing right there so okay okay you guys take care god bless you guys we'll see you